Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. Child, y'all see the thumbnail? This is Nika, Nika Busy Life. Nika with 10 kids. Child. So I've been over there catching up on her little vlogs and stuff. And it just breaks my heart. Y'all be sure to hit a thumbs up for your girl, by the way. It breaks my heart to see those children sitting on the floor. They were sitting on the floor playing games and stuff on their computers. And y'all know it's winter time. I know it has to be cold in that trailer. She doesn't have any furniture, no recliners or anything. She has some little play tables, Mickey Mouse tables and stuff like that for them to sit down at when they eat. And I'm thinking, how ridiculous. And I noticed that a lot of the kids seem to wear hoodies in the house. Hell, Naya even had on two hoodies at one point. She was cooking, but I'm about to talk about that in a minute. But yeah, y'all drop down in the comments and let me know if y'all noticed how people seem to be, well, how the kids seem to be always layered up. They don't seem to be comfortable because it's probably cold in there. I mean, most trailers don't have really good insulation. Let's face it, <laughs> especially out there where she lives. But anyway, child, so we go on to Naya. She's cooking spaghetti and made a salad. Every time she scrapes that pot with that metal spoon, I just cringe. I don't know why she won't go down to the Dollar Tree and get the proper utensils, cleaning utensils. It's only $1.25. Y'all spend money down to the bingo hall, Popeye's chicken and McDonald's on scratch offs and stuff, but you won't go buy the cooking utensils that you need. If you're going to vlog and do cooking videos, at least have the proper utensils and pots and pans. Child. So around the middle of the video, I'm hearing Nika in the background, hooping and hollering. And it sounded like to me, somebody was getting their tail toe up. Now, I thought she claimed that she didn't whoop her children. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. Am I making this up? But I'm pretty sure I'm right. I thought she claimed she didn't whoop her. Honey, you could hear one of them children saying no. No. Clear as day in the background. And it sounded like somebody was getting a whooping. So I dropped down in the comments to see if anybody else commented about it and noticed it. And they did. Honey. But you get on here and you want people to respect your privacy. But y'all come down to this YouTube and put in and everything on here. You give people the ammo they need to talk about y'all. Girl, you too old not to know that. That brings me to her driving into town to go get some toys somebody was giving her. She was had so much on her mind. She was talking about she didn't have anybody to talk to about it. She didn't want to put those burns on her kids. She didn't know social media was going to be like this. So you telling me you thought you could have a trailer with no furniture. It's filthy and nasty. Those children <laughs> are not being taken care of properly. And you thought that people weren't going to drop their comments, give their commentary on it. Girl, if that ain't delusional, I don't know what is. But yeah, she seemed to be going through it over there because people been calling her out. But honey, they're about to have a field day with this one. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about. They're screaming in the background. Next thing you know, one of the children was hollering, no, no. But you claim not to spank them. Your words, not mine, child. 